Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the Master on a daily basis. Thank you so much for joining me today as we continue the theme, Healing the Wounded Child Within, How to Recover as an Adult from a Dysfunctional Childhood. And we've been looking at a fellow by the name of Mephibosheth, who at the age of five was dropped. Someone was carrying him. Mephibosheth was dropped and the drop was devastating. It caused Mephibosheth to be crippled, um, disabled for the rest of his life on a physical basis. And uh, he ends up at a place called Lodabar, which means no fertility. It's a community where he has no fertility. Now, he, because he was dropped, he missed his destiny. And so many kids get dropped as children. Lodab, he was dropped. Look at it. It says again in 2 Samuel chapter 4 and verse 4, it says, Saul's son, Jonathan, had a son named Mephibosheth who was crippled as a child. He was five years old when the report came from Jezreel that Saul and Jonathan had been killed in battle. When the child's nurse heard the news, she picked him up and fled. But as she hurried away, she dropped him and he became crippled for the rest of his life because how he got dropped, what he experienced as a child affected him as an adult. And what goes into a child affects the adult. What goes into a boy comes out in the man. What goes into a girl comes out in the woman. He got dropped. And many of us are adults right now. We're hurting and we have dysfunctionals, dysfunctionality, and we're crippled in so many ways because we got dropped. And we're hurting and we have to heal that inner child. Now let's look at how we were dropped. And we're gonna look at a, a acronym or an acrostic baby for, for dropped at some of the ways that children get dropped. And maybe you can identify with some of these things because they affect you today, whether you realize it or not. Most of our dysfunctions and our, 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 our issues are rooted in unresolved issues from childhood. Let me say that again. Most of the issues we experience today is rooted in unresolved hurts that we had in childhood. We got dropped. And here are some of the ways we got dropped. We're going to look at the word dropped, D-R-O-P-P-E-D. -P -P -E Mephibosheth was dropped and so were you. And here's some of the ways we can be dropped. D, you can dro be dropped because you were deprived of affection, affirmation, and attention. If your parents never said, I love you, never affirmed you, never gave you the attention. You were there, but you were really not, uh, you were not the center of the world. In fact, you were always on the periphery of their world. So you were deprived of affection, of a hug, of, of, of caring, of meaningful touches, of affirmation, I'm proud of. You never got that from your childhood, you were dropped. R, refusing to develop and cultivate your child's unique talents. Everybody has a talent, everybody has a skill. And when you have a parent who refuses to develop and cultivate your child's unique talents, that's being, you've dropped, you've been dropped. The Bible says train up a child in the way that he should go. And what that means is that every child is supposed to go in a certain direction. And the parent's responsibility is to find out what direction that is, and then to train them or to develop them or move them towards that particular destiny, which presupposes that you know something about your child. But many parents never did a real assessment of the gifts of their child to find out what their child is good in. And then, uh, because they don't do an assessment to find out what their child is gifted for and good in, they don't cultivate that child's unique talents. And then when that happens, you have been dropped. Oh, you know you've been dropped when your parents are obsessed with success and careerism so much so that the child is left alone. So if you have a parent who's only concerned with upward mobility, that they don't have time for you, or only concerned with making money and, and uh, the creature comforts so that they can impress folk. And in the process of all of this 
obsession with things and careers, you get left out. That's what it means to be dropped when they don't have time for you. P, here's one, physical abuse. When you experience physical abuse with belts and uh, switches and hot wheel tracks back in the day when I was young and extension cords that leave whips and bruises and lacerations on your body when you've been beat and whipped, that's physical abuse. That damages you. That, that is evil. And that physical abuse, listen to me, whether you realize it or not, that hurts you as an adult. You reflect on that. And there's much pain and rage. And you say, I want to get back at you. Why did you do this to me? Why did you beat me down like this? Physical abuse. P, psychological abuse. Because you're in a physical abusive circumstances, that leads to psychological abuse where you're constantly living in fear. When, when are they going to explode and do something to me? Suppose I say the wrong thing. Am I going to experience the whipping? Living in fear. And psychological abuse is also constant invalidation. When you're told you're, you're, you're you know uh, you're, you're 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 too big or you're too short or you don't have any sense or you're an embarrassment or when I was young I used to do this and just psychological abuse and torture and teasing and not considering your emotions and your feelings psychological abuse you've been dropped. E, elevating one child over another. Usually parents gravitate towards the child who reminds them of themselves. So for example, uh, if you are the type of parent that likes activism, let's say you're in the NAACP, and you got a child that tends to like activism and, and get involved in those things, well, you probably will gravitate towards that child. And But the child who maybe wants to be a painter, you don't gravitate towards them because we usually have an affinity with people who remind us of ourselves. So many children get ele elevated and some ch children's get eliminated when it comes to affection and affirmation. And if, you had, if you've had to live um, in the background or you had to live uh, in the shadows of another ch child, and it might not even be a sibling, it could be some child in the community that your parent takes more interest in than you. Well, you've been dropped. And then D, degraded sexual abuse. When somebody abused you sexually, somebody fondled you sexually, somebody penetrated you sexually, and you lost your innocence, then you were dropped. Dropped. And just like Mephibosheth was dropped and it affected him the rest of his life, many of us have been dropped uh, and it has affected us. In fact, some of you can check off about five or six of those things that I've listed in this uh, dropped acrostic. And <laughs> no wonder you're the, the way you are right now. It's rooted in the trauma of childhood. The, the child within you has not healed and God wants to heal Mephibosheth who was dropped. Please know that no child deserves to be dropped. Mephibosheth didn't deserve it, and you don't deserve to be dropped also. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your word today. I ask that you will bless your people. Somebody right now is weeping as they looked at the dropped because they have been dropped. They've been trying to hide it. They've been trying to ignore it, but they've been dropped. God, God, we're halfway through the week of a very important teaching. Oh, Lord, help us to begin to heal, especially as we turn the corner and look for solutions on tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with me today. Look, tonight's Wednesday night. I hope you'll be with us in Bible study. 
Don't forget, we have the pre-worship experience at 6.30, and then worship actually begins at 7 o'clock. If you don't have a church home, we'd love to invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Just email us, newstart at ssclive.org. We will get back with you. Thank you for joining me on this journey to heal the wounded child within. God bless you. We'll pick up on this tomorrow, but until then, you stay safe, stay sane. And remember, during COVID-19, God is still in control. I'll see you tonight in Bible study. Take care.